Hello everyone, it's Loretta. Welcome to episode 21 of our craft fair series where I show you what I'm making, how to make it, and what I'm charging for my upcoming craft fair, which is my very first, on the 28th of July 2018. Today we're going to do some Christmas ornaments. Here's one I made earlier. This one's very dimensional. The uh, little flower slid. That's okay. We can fix that. And just put that back together there. And here's another one. I made this one with a fabric bow on one side and a silver bow on the other. Very pretty. So this is going to be a little bit of playtime. Okay, a lot of playtime. And um, a lot of fun. So the, one of the first things I want to share with you guys is... This is uh, some glitter paper that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And um, as you can see, it's 12 by 12. I am just going to take a moment here and cut it down to uh, 6 by 12. You could even, even cut it smaller. And I'm going to cut this piece of cardstock, which is just in a regular cardstock, down to 6 inches as well. And this is 6 by 11. So uh, this actually needs to be cut down an inch so that the two will uh, meet up. First time I tried to film this video, it didn't go so well. I was out of frame again. And uh, for the record, I'm going to try to stay as close to my phone while I'm filming this as I can because I can't find my little pigtail for my um, microphone. So we're going to kind of get things settled here so that I make sure you can see. you don't know about this paper because it's not printed anywhere on it is that it's actually self-adhesive and it's really thin it's like thinner than tin foil so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna marry this piece to my cardstock if you have a few bubbles in it you're really not gonna see it in the finished project but you do want to try to work them out as much as you can And for our ornaments, I'm going to want to go ahead and hole punch, not hole punch, excuse me, I'm going to want to punch a couple of circles. I have a 3 inch circle hole punch and a 2 inch circle punch. It is going to take a little bit of gumption to go through this cardstock. So um, I'm also going to cut some out of regular um, cardstock that doesn't have any glitter paper on it. Okay, so I bought a bunch of these uh, plastic snowflakes last year on clearance. Um, I'm not really sure why I got them. Probably Hobby Lobby because it's honestly the only store we have around here. So you're going to need some uh, snowflakes or whatever you want for your base. You're going to need some die cuts. In this case, I have some um, little whirly do's cut out of scrapbooking paper and out of that glitter paper. And I have um, like a, a different cardstock colors and what have you. I also cut a, a bow out of the same colored cardstock. And I have some flowers, and I have some bells, and all kinds of little goodies for making our ornament. I also have um, my hot glue gun ready, and some wire clippers if I need them. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take some twine. This is just like crochet thread. That, um, People used to make doilies and padded things out of. 
which is a type of uh, crochet lace. So I'm just going to take this. If you see my head in the shot, I apologize. I just want to make sure I am in frame this time and not showing you guys how I'm doing stuff. So I'm just going to take this and bring the tail through and tie a knot towards the top. Okay, so far so good. So this is going to be the front of our ornament and of course it's going to get caught. I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to its back side even though there really isn't a, uh, a right or wrong. And I'm going to take my E6000 glue and just put it on some of those little legs with my size of snowflake. And I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to do the smaller circle. I put my smaller circle down. And then I'm going to use one of my snowflakes that I die cut earlier. The uh, swirly do's and the snowflakes are both from my favorite things. I am not sure if they have retired or not. So um, if I find out, I will let you know. This one has a little bit of, of glue on the actual, and that that's going to bother me too much, so I'm just going to take that off and redo it. Try to work with clean fingers and clean hands as much as you can, or that's what happens. You can really see it in the end product. So I'm going to eyeball that and put it down. I'm now going to take my E6000 glue. And um, I am going to put some on my snowflake. I do want that other pattern to show, so I'm just going to put this on. You really could just use um, regular glue for this part, but um, I want to use what I have available. So um, I'm going to decide whether I want the little swirly do on there or not. Mm. I do, but I don't, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, I have one of these snowflakes that um, actually ripped on me when I took it out of the die, so I'm just going to gonna see what I can salvage of it and use it kind of as background pieces for my project. These would make great anten antenna or antlers for a deer as well. I'll just bob a bat. Okay, so here we have these little pieces to decorate with as we go along. So I'm going to take my soap like pick him up and put him into place. Just like that. Hey, adorable. And I'm going to take him while he's at this point and flip him back over to this side and put down another cardstock piece. In this case, I am going to have the, um, I'm just going to use the plain white one. And because this is a slick material, I am using the E6000 glue. That. And I'm going to, uh, take my other snowflake and um, kind of look at him and decide whether or not I want this swirly do on. I rejected this one earlier without thinking it through. So what I'm going to do is because this paper had a pattern to it and I don't necessarily like that pattern, I'm going to give this swirly do a haircut. And just take off the parts that I don't really like. Customized die cuts. That's all I have to say about it. So, same thing with this guy. I'm going to take off the parts I don't like. Most of this swirly do is going to be covered up anyway. But, you know, for the sake of the video, 
And for the sake of the project, honestly, I want it to look really nice. So I'm going to go on and I'm going to take these tails off as well. They're just, honestly, they're getting in the way. So let's see here. I'm going to go on and use my glue. Once again, you could, on this part anyway, you could use just your regular, um, whatever glue you have, glossy accents. Mon uh, Tombow Mono, whatever. Now, this is going to be the side of the ornament that's going to be, if you will, the front. The other side is going to be the back. Because you will see this different color swirly do on that uh, from the other side. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take this snowflake and glue it into place as well. I'm going to kind of offset the... Uh, snowflakes flakes so that uh, when you're looking at this one it's just going to have that really nice layered effect so so far it looks like this and it's still it's really pretty even with the swirly dews over here isn't it so I am going to go ahead and take some flowers These little guys and the big ones I really like the little ones Take my hot glue gun and apply the hot glue directly to the flower. And I'm going to put it, kind of move it around until it's where I want it to be. Turn it around, do the same thing. So this time, do I want the larger flower? I do. I really like the larger flower. Regular scissors work just fine for cutting off these, these thin wires. Um, I've had my flowers literally for years. They came from um, I Am Roses. They came from I Am Roses um, company. I'm not even sure if they're still even in existence. But you can buy similar flowers from uh, your craft store. You can even take um, a bush, those bushes of flowers from like the dollar store and use them. Um, once this is completely dry, I will take my heat gun and melt away any of the um, spiderweb type uh, strings. I do plan to sell these snowflakes at my craft fair for $3 a piece. Do you think that's too much or too little? Let me know down below because I'd really like to get your opinion on what I should charge. But So here it is. That's the front of the ornament and that's the back. And so there's that one. Just in case you guys didn't get the email from YouTube, YouTube's private messenger is going to be going away in July. So if you have a question, email it to me. All right, folks, thank you so much for joining me for part 21 of my craft fair series. Stamp happy and be a blessing. Take care. Bye for now.